All right, uh, we are recording. Uh, so uh, this lesson is recorded for those of you who are not able to join class today. I want you to do the review exercise for unit seven and eight, which is on page, what page is it, students? On page 100? 107. Yes, 107 and 108. Thank you, fine. So please make sure that you have done this exercise on your own first before you watch this video. Uh, so I'm talking to the to all your friends who are not here. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, we'll start with vocabulary first. A ein. Can you share the answers for A? Uh, despite the weather, the woman took her dog for an exhilarates walk in the park. Exhilarates. Like this? Yes. Okay, so we want to change this word into an adjective and how we do that is you add ing. Exhilarating. Okay, but it's a good try. It's all right. Number two. Ayn. Ayn, are you still with us? Um. Ah. Yeah, yes, yes, sorry, sorry. The archaeologists discovered two huge sculptures at entrance to the tomb. Sculpture, yeah. Uh, make sure you make it plural, yeah? Uh, Jin wanted to take up cooking classes as a hobby. All right, cooking. so cooking is correct, but there is also another one that you can use. If you remember this one, masa is cookery as well. Oh, cookery classes. But you can use cooking too. Four. Jo has been good at painting since she was since she was two years old. Of course, painting. Next one. The climber just didn't have the strength to go any further that day. Yes, strength. Um, GTH. Okay. Mark has made career out of photography. Photography. The survival of the climbers was the rescue team's main concern. How do you spell survival, Ayn? Uh, v i v s s u r v i v a l. The survival of the climber. Okay, what's the right survival? I thought I heard you say survival just now. Eight. He's a Dutch and works in the post. Oh, I'm not sure about uh, it. Hey, oh, sorry, sorry. He said Dutch and works in the gaming. 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 Industry. Yes, gaming industry. Roger is very... Uh, I'm not sure number nine what's the answer, but I, I wrote boasted. Boasted about how much money. Uh, he's very boasted. Uh, you cannot use uh, boasted here. If you remove very then you can use boasted. But because very is there, boasted is a verb, right? And you cannot use oh. very with a verb. Uh, so the, the correct answer is boastful. Oh. Very boleh guna dengan adjective sahaja. Tak boleh guna dengan verb. Okay, I'm done. The explorer was exhausted after walking after walking through the desert for thirty days. Right, exhausted. Okay, thank you. Fine. Uh, we'll go to number two. Um, oh, what happened to this page? Uh, anybody can share the answers for number two. Anybody would like to? Not number two. Sorry, B. Fata. Are you here, Fata? Yes. Okay, can you do B? Okay. All right. One, my brother likes to show off about his sports car. Correct, show off. Number two, rock climbing or oh, for great concentration and strength. Uh, excuse me for a second. My screen is not responsive at the moment. Oops. Very, uh, what again? From climbing calls for great concentration and strength. Right, calls for. We just continue. 
Number three, the village is situated among two rivers. Okay, so we cannot use among here. It is between. Kalau antara dua benda, uh, kalau among ni di kalangan, macam di kalangan orang, ataupun di kalangan banyak tempat. So, you can use among. But, antara dua benda, we have to use between. Di antara dia, among di kalangan. Okay, four. She did not like cooking at first, but now she has taken by it. Taken by, this is not taken by, taken to, suka. Taken to. Peter decided to try out with the long jump team. Try out, cuba, is try out for. Continue, Fatah. Number six. The hikers manage to cope with the extreme heat. Correct. Cope with, yeah. Menangani, menghadapi. Seven. Are you cut out for being the leader on an expedition? Right. Cut out for. Sesuai. Padan. Eight. I'm thinking of taking up or salsa dancing in my free time. Right. Taking up means start to do something. The temperature in Sweden can go under freezing. Under freezing. Okay, beku. Di bawah beku, we call below freezing. Dua-dua maksud dia di bawah. It is correct, but in English, we use below freezing. Yeah? Ten. Some islands in the Pacific rise just a few meters above sea level. Right, above sea level. Bawah atas tahap laut. Okay, thank you, Fatah. Uh, Match the opposites. This one, uh, this is an easy one. So anybody would like to try this one? It would be great if they are volunteers. Anybody? Arik. You are uh, right. Uh, one, zero, one, die. Right. E. Give up. I'll just write the answer here. So I give up. Give up. Give up. Continue. Continue. Oops. Cope with. Cope with, yes. Panic. Yes. Hurt healthy. Healthy. Mental. Physical. Mental, physical. Go along, go away. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, D. Can we have Afika? Can you do D? Uh, yeah. All right. Complete the sentences with this word. Uh, number one, he was lucky he had a great traveling. Companion with him. Companion? Companion apa dia? Companion. Number... <laughs> tak ingat lah. <laughs> Travelling companion. Sahabat. Okay. Number two, a climber may collapse from lack of oxygen while climbing Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. Collapse tumbang. Tak apa pengsan kat sini. Number three, we decided to go on a journey to the mountains. Go, oh, yes. Number four, I will do my best when I take part in the competition. Competition. Yes. Number five, if you live in a warm climate, it's difficult to adapt to cold climate. All right, adapt. Uh, what do you understand from the word adapt, Afika? Um, Menyesuaikan diri, ya? Macam itulah. Yes, that is correct. Very good. Number six, you must follow the safety rules to prevent accident from happening. Prevent. Okay, very good, Fika. Uh, we'll go on to grammar. This one, a bit tough because you need to know all of these senses. Past simple, past perfect simple, past perfect continuous. Um, so anyone who would like to try this one? 
maybe Wafa, can you do it, Wafa? I can try. All right. Uh, uh, read the paragraph. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Aaron Lee Rustin, uh, decide decided to climb the red rocks near the Canyon Lands National Park on Saturday, 26 April 2003. Okay. Uh, Aaron, who was an athletic 27 years old and a very experienced climber, had been climbing Colorado's peaks for years before that fateful Saturday. Yes, had been climbing, yeah. That day, he was dressed in a t-shirt and shorts. He also had a backpack with a few supplies. At some point, while he was climbing over a huge rock that filled a narrow, narrow slot in the canyon, it came loose and crashed down, trapping his right forearm against the rock wall. He, he tried to free his arm, but without success. He knew there was little hope of getting help as he didn't tell anyone about his plans for that day. Uh... Didn't tell anyone. He... Okay, so this one, it is actually past perfect. So change it into the past perfect. Past perfect, we start with Pat. 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 Huh? Pat. Had not tell. Right. Hadn't tell, told. I think the past participle of told is told. Had not told. Hadn't told. Had not told. Wait a sec. Give me a second to check past participle of tell. Past participle. Yeah, it is right. Told. Had not told. And we use had not told. Uh, remember, if you remember past perfect continuous, kalau dia ada dua verb in the past tense. Okay. Wafa, do you remember? Yes. Uh, no. No? Okay. If there are two <laughs> things happening in the past, the thing that happens first is in the past participle. Do you understand? Uh, yes. All right. So what are the two things that happen here in the past? Is he knew? Because, he knew there was, uh? Right, he knew. Yeah, this is one verb. And then, told here happens before he knew. Is that clear? Do you understand that? Yes. Right. And did they tell? Tapi sebelum tu sebab dia tak bagi tahu. So that's why we use the past perfect. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Perfect. Aaron's condition was becoming worse and worse every day because he he had very little food or water for days. He knew that if he didn't do something soon, he would die. Then on Thursday morning, his fifth day in the canyon, he decided that the only chance he had to survive was to cut off his arm. He did it using a mounted tool he had with him. Even though he, he was in terrible pain, he managed to walk out of the canyon. He was spotted by some hikers and eventually rescued by a helicopter. The rescuers were amazed at Aaron's will to live and the brave thing he had done. Right. Okay, so here is another example of the past perfect again. Uh, were amazed is the first thing that happened, had done before that. So it is past perfect. All right, so very good. Wafa, you only made one mistake here. Uh, but it's a common mistake that uh, I, I think most people, most students uh, would make that mistake. Also, terrible story. <laughs> he had to cut off his arm. Uh, I wouldn't want to do that. And I wish that nobody has to go through that. All right. B, anybody? Uh, who else do we have here? Hana, are you here, Hana? No, Hana. Uh, Ahnaf, can you do B? Uh, I'll try, I'll try. All right. Choose the correct answers. Okay, by the way, before we begin, these are, um, well, most of them, 
a question text if you remember bila kita tanya soalan alright continue Anna. Uh, let's keep on let's keep on walking for a while shall we shall we yep keep on going Anna. Uh, only stop oh. if I tell you to stop. If not, you just continue. Who prepare the equipment for the exped expedition? Mm -hmm. You haven't realized that we're lost, did you? Uh, no. If you look I, at have have you have yeah, you right? It must be the opposite, right? If you have here haven't, so the question type will be have. All right. What did the pilot do to land the plane saf safely? All right, see. You didn't invite Jane to the party? You didn't? Uh, no, the question is, haven't, haven't you? Haven't you? The Climbers adventure was on the news, weren't they? Weren't they? Uh, what is the focus here? Is it the Climbers or the news? Uh, or adventure. Cl climbers. The focus here is on the adventure. Oh. Ah, pengembara Amerika was on the news. So. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Correct. Very good. I am going to adapt to this weather. Am I? Aha. Uh -huh. So this is something and that maybe not a lot of people would know. Uh, but if it's a question, we will use aren't I? Oh. Kalau di question tag yang kita letak kat ujung. Uh, kalau soalan kat awal, am I going to school next week? Uh, so, boleh guna am I. Tapi question tag bila kat belakang, can we use aren't I? Okay, so last one, Anaf. You aren't enjoying your holiday? Uh, not that one. Oh, not that one. <laughs> aren't you? Aren't you, yes. Question we uh, start those first, okay. right? Like number five, haven't you? Aren't you? Although, uh, in a conversation, you can actually use C. You are enjoying your holiday? Kebualan, tapi dari segi grammatically correct, it should be aren't you. All right, thank you, Anaf. Uh, last one here, exercise C. Um, who else do we have? Bisha, can you do the last one? Bisha, are you here? I don't think I can reach Bisha. Uh, so anyone? Can you volunteer to do C? Ayn, are you here? Uh, yes, okay. but, I, but I haven't done this C yet. Oh, you haven't? Okay. Anybody? Oh. anybody? Well, everybody is in the same group, so if you haven't finished it, I'm sure everybody else has it either. Uh, what about the boys? Faiz ke Arik? Fatah? No? Okay, so let's do this together then. Uh, May. So this one, this exercise, you need to change um, the sentences so that it has a similar meaning, but you use the words here. So the first one, uh, perhaps the climbers are lost. Let's call the police. So the climbers using the word may. It should be may be lost. And uh, just to be clear, the word maybe and maybe are different. Okay, maybe in the first one. This is an adjective. Uh, sorry, this is an adverb. Uh, adverb. So, contohnya, tanya, are you uh, going to the party next weekend? We use this one. Maybe. Maybe I'll go. Tapi kalau, perhaps, it is this one. Maybe. Loss. It's the same as might be. Maybe ini adalah might be. Okay, number two, they had the ability to go on holiday last summer, had the ability, using the word able. 
Can somebody do this? They able to go. They able to go. One word is missing, Ain. Before able. What be? Happened? They they be. Yeah, actually you are right, tapi dia punya bentuk dia lain. You cannot say they be able to go. Look at the tense. They had past tense. So change be into were. were. Right. They were able to go. Oh, dah ada go dah depan tu. So no more go. They were able to go. Uh, my advice is to ask for your parents' permission. My advice. Advice. What model should we use to give Wait. advice? Should. Ask for your parents' permission. All rescuers are obliged. Obliged maksudnya uh, diwajibkan. Are obliged to wear special clothes. So all rescuers diwajibkan pakai. Mesti pakai. Must. Uh, using the word hat. Uh. Semi-model. The meaning is similar to must. Had to. Had to. Had to wear. Good. Five, it wasn't necessary for them to find a hotel because they camped every night. So using the word need, untuk gantikan, wasn't necessary. They Do you have any idea? Okay, this is a weird one. If you remember, it is need not find. Or the shot is needn't. It needn't find. Although you can also use did not need to. So these are both correct. Need not. Need not to ni jarang sikit pada guna. Uh, number six. I'm sure the explorers have reached their destination by now. Using had the word reach. Had reached. Uh, the explorers. Sama je kalau gunakan reach. Have reached. Reach. Let me check the book. Reach. 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 Have reached. What's the difference? Kalau kita guna the explorers have reached. I'm sure. Oh, oh, oh okay. I, I, now I realize it. The word I'm sure. Pasti. I'm sure. So, macam mana kita nak gunakan model apa yang kita nak menunjukkan kepastian? To show that we are sure. It is M. You must. must complete it, please, with the word reached. Must. Must, have, must reached. have reached. Must have reached. Well done, Ayn. And the last one. The hiker took a raincoat with him, but it didn't rain. So the hiker with the word have did did not have to, didn't have to. Okay, didn't have to. Uh, take, didn't have to take. Okay, uh, so that is the end of the discussion for this unit. Please make sure that you write down how many you managed to get for each section. So here out of seven, this one out of four, and you can see here which Problems, uh, which problems, but which ones you are still having problems with? Is it vocabulary? Is it the grammar? And if you believe that you still have a problem with these topics, you should go back and look at unit seven, look at unit eight, the notes that you have made in your notebooks, in your textbook, and try to improve on your weakness so that you can do better next time. All right, so with that, we have reached the end of our lesson today. Thank you very much to the few students who do show up in class today. I really appreciate you being here and doing this exercise and discussing with the rest of us so that others may get benefit from it, inshallah.
Okay, so with that, we'll end the class. Thank you, and salamu alaikum. Oh, wait. Tasbika fara an salat al-as. Subhanallah. Zamdi. Shada ala ilaha anta. Astaghfirullah. Wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu ala sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Anything you'd like to say before we end the class? Anyone? Any questions? In three seconds. One, two, three. No? Okay. Uh, I, I think I heard somebody wanted to say something. Ada apa-apa ke? No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you in our next